Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. So glad you could attend. Come inside today as we take a look at Dysmorphia. It's a short film making the festival scene right now, and it's brought to us by writer, director, me, man of all uh, trades, if you will, Andy Stewart. And he brings us the story of a man suffering from dysmorphia. Now, dysmorphia, for those of you who don't know, is a condition where the uh, sufferer is obsessed with thinking that there's uh, one or more flaws with their body. Well, this gentleman on uh, in the film Dysmorphia, played by Gordon Holiday, has this condition. He thinks there's something wrong with his body, and we get to see the extreme measures he takes to try to cure this obsession he has with what he thinks is wrong with his body. Folks, Dysmorphia is a, uh, brought to it the first time, uh, first project by Andy Stewart. And let me tell you, I was pleasantly surprised by this film. Uh, first off, there's the performance of Gordon Holiday. It's a one-man show similar to Other. There is a lot of voiceover, and it's all taking place in one room. But let me tell you, the way it's edited and paced, you still build the tension. And Gordon Holiday really brings the crazy across on screen. I really liked it, how it was building. It just built tension and as he brought these things out of this bag he brought just made just your mind start to go which dysmorphia does dysmorphia is the classic way to make a uh, uh, horror film if you will don't show you everything show you some things and let your imagination do the rest dysmorphia does that perfectly it, it, just on beat, totally. Uh, you know, just just building up that tension with so little. It It's proof. You don't need a whole lot to make a decent, tense scene. And they definitely do that. Uh, his uh, screenplay that he wrote uh, was interesting. It had not a twist ending, but kind of a holy cat's ending that uh, will surprise you a bit. But definitely, uh, back to the camera work. I love the camera work. When there were some uh, kind of nastier bits going on, and you, you never saw it quite clearly. There were great camera angles and things uh, with the sound design that really played with your imagination. Dysmorphia just plays with your imagination and takes it on a trip that you're afraid to go on, okay? Uh, that's really what it does, and I... I Look forward to Andy Stewart's next work. Now, this is apparently one of three shorts, uh, body horror films as they're being classified. And Andy Stewart is from uh, Glasgow, and he actually has a blog site as well, andyerupts.com. You should check it out. Uh, but definitely, I look forward to his next project, because if it's anything like this, it's definitely worth your time. And it's great for a short, because this is night just perfect little story, uh, works within its budget, and definitely is a lot better than many of the horror films that Schlollywood is putting out today. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stub.